Let's do it. The Shed Barbecue and Blues joint is one of a kind. I'm very happy to say that Brad was always a dumpster diver. So like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, the Shed is the epitome of that. We love to talk about the stories. We love when Shed heads come and they say, hey, I was here. I brought you guys that old organ. Do you still do you still have it? So that's kind of the concept. Started with Brad's dumpster diving as far as the atmosphere and turned into a whole variety of the world. Bartender by day. How you doing? Awesome musician by night. And he's got a lot of good beer. You wanna get a beer? Yeah, let's grab a beer. So this is our stage where we do our bigger bands. So we'll have up to 10 piece brass bands. Oh wow. On the stage and we brought artists in from all over the country and they'll come in and uh, and play music and really it's just about the families being able to hang out have really good barbecue we do not say we're the best because barbecue is in the mouth of the holder we just try to do the best at what we do so 20 years brad and i i we opened i was 19 years old he was 24. shoestring budget without the shoestring we borrowed my grandmother's uh, Lowe's card, and that's what we bought, the, the hammer and the nails. But I will say uh, that it, um, it, it hosted many, many of families and many a great times. We have, a, we have a, lot of, a lot of barbecue family all over the country and get into their culture because barbecue is a culture, but then there's all these subcultures. Speaking of sharing cultures, you need there a shed hat. Looks good. All right, let's go check out the trophies. We don't like to brag on ourselves, um, but we also appreciate the hard work that our shed crew does. It's about our whole team that comes together and everybody has an integral part to the success of winning at a competition. You know, they always say, be careful going in business with family. And I feel like our family is one of those exceptions that it works. You got sight, you got sound, you got touch, feel, you've got all the five senses. Look, I know the shed can seem confusing. And yes, we do that on purpose. We are right next to Louisiana. And um, we've got mile marker eight and nine on Blue Waterway. So there's a lot of people that fish. We have a beautiful pier. And this really encompasses the water side of the shed. So we have the beautiful Mississippi Sound. We're on the Gulf of Mexico, but we also have amazing bayous and different tributaries. All so right. you were just telling me last yeah. week you guys hosted a steak cook-off. Yes. But I saw on Instagram, I saw much more than a steak. What, what are all the categories people doing? So we have seven categories. We have a Bloody Mary category, which uh -huh. is a creative. It's about pulling in culinary skills, pulling in creativity, and it has exploded over the years. Get out. But also we have a turkey category. Uh, we have a rib category. We have two steaks, it's a dual steak. So you can do a New York strip and or a ribeye. And, and we have kids cute. What's cool about it is the winner of the turkey category, the winner of the rib category, and the winners of the steak category go head to head. And that's when like the friendship and the camaraderie gets intense. All right, cool. I've seen it all. Yes. It's a great vibe. There's just one thing missing. Where's Barbecue. the food? Let's go. Let me show you my friend.